welcome back to my channel if you're new here please do subscribe down below my name is adiola and i upload videos about africa travel and lifestyle so today we are in Ljubljana. Ljubljana. <laughs> i still can't pronounce the city just yet but we are in the capital of slovenia so it's going to be a travel vlog i'm going to show you what this country has to offer i've got a lot of things booked and i'm actually also doing like a long layover in serbia so i'm very excited to show you what i get up to it's actually quite a late start for me i got here early in the morning but was feeling really tired so now it's going to 6 p.m i'm just going to head to the castle um go to a rooftop bar and go on a pub crawl so i'll show you what all that looks like tonight and yeah let's get into it okay so i've just made it to the city square you can see the castle right on the hill over there and um, what people don't know actually about the castle is that there's a vernacular so instead of climbing all the way to the top of the hill you can take a teleferrico vernacular and that's what i'm about to do now so let's go so for a second i took the wrong turn in and i ended up walking part way up the hill um to the castle and then i realized no, I've got a ticket for the funicular, so I finally found the funicular. I'll show you what it looks like, and I think one's coming down now, so it shouldn't be too long till we go back up. stunning views just behind me I'll give you a closer look as well um, and the sun is setting so it's like the perfect kind of ambiance perfect way to kind of start the trip actually so I'll show you what that looks like another viewpoint which means you guessed it more spiral stairs so let's go <laughs> for hours now there's actually so much to see i didn't think there was that much at first there's also so much to climb there's a lot of stairs so you will get a workout in but it's very very interesting to see not only the historical facts the architectural facts the fact that this castle also held prisoners so it's only to know the history but now i'm in a spot where you can actually learn about the geology of the tower as well which is really really interesting Four in the, four in the. 
Okay, so you would have seen what I got up to in the castle. I'm just about to head to the rooftop bar now to have some food and drinks as my pre and then head to the pub crawl. So let's go. Okay, so we're in the second bar and um, we just played a really fun game, which is a great icebreaker. I'll show you what the rest of the night looks like. Just about to get lit, so let's go. Okay, hello, good morning. Today is day two in Ljubljana. I'm currently on my way to my walking tour, running a little bit late, so I will check in with you when I get there and I'll show you what the city looks like. So let's go. They stay kind of two years, two years and a half. Uh, this event will be the most important political event of the city since the day of independence. Hmm? The park Zvezda that you see here, uh, Zvezda because Zvezda means star in Slovenia. So we're currently on the tour. We just made it to this riverbank. Look how gorgeous the views are from here. Very, very beautiful. Let's keep showing you the city. So we're just heading into the food market now and there are a bunch of restaurants just on the strip as well and it just smells so so good. Hopefully we can get some nibbles in the food market. because I saw some ribs that I really wanted to try so I'm gonna fuck in and check in with you later. Okay, hello guys, good morning. Today is a early morning in Ljubljana. Um, I'm currently heading to the caves today so I'll show you what that looks like. I'm on my way to the coach station and yeah, let's go. It's really cold today. So we're just about to enter the caves. I'll show you what they look like. So we're off. 
into the cave as you can see all around me the rocks so far I'm absolutely loving it I'm way behind like I don't know where my tour is but we will keep exploring and following the route So as you can see, we've made it to what's known as the spaghetti room of the chamber. There are loads of um, noodle-looking spaghetti-shaped limestone that's coming down from the walls. I don't know if you can see them behind me. Really, really interesting and really beautiful as well. We're heading through another bend. <laughs> You can really, really get up close to these rocks and you can feel the lime scale dripping as well. <sighs> wow. And next to it, you can see columns standing a bit different in colors. There are different minerals present. It is interesting since they are standing so close to each other. So we assume two different water sources. Uh, so those are animals that cannot survive on the surface because they are adjusted to dark over here, this environment. Uh, before they found the first one, a beetle in 1831, they didn't believe there is anything believing. Very unique as well. There's a train ride in there. Um, we're off to the castle now, so I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we just made it to the castle behind and we're gonna head inside, so I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go. The dining room. You're now in the main part of the castle, which features the largest rooms and is where the families resided. Safety was provided by the mighty 168 centimeter thick walls. The window niche. 
beaches with the brightest, warmest and most pleasant spots in the castle. How cold and dark it was here once. Now we're heading up some more stairs. Gosh, this castle really is medieval. which is situated in a cast cave under a natural wall far from the enemy and completely safe from their missiles. Nevertheless, the safety of the castle was additionally enhanced with a drawbridge. So we just got done at the castle as you can see behind me we're he i'm heading back now i'm gonna try and get some snacks on the way back because i'm really really hungry it was the early morning start and we've just been going non-stop but it's been really fun so far i think we're actually heading back to libliana now and um yeah so i'm thinking i might do a boat ride and also get some famous treats they have like a famous dessert um which i really want to try so i think i'll do that and yeah i'll check in with you later okay so i've made it to a restaurant now i'm about to have the traditional slovenian dessert called creme chita and then after that i'm heading on to my boat tour so that should round up my trip so far i'll show you if i do anything else Okay, so I've made it to my final stop. You would have seen I went to the cathedral after I had the krimšeta, which is a traditional Slovakian dessert. I can literally see my boat arriving now. So I'm super, super excited to be taking the boat tour. I think it's a perfect way to kind of end the trip. So if you've liked the vlog, please do like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ryan in the car with no keys, straight up. Who would be shut with no sleeve? Yeah, I'm wrecking the tunnel. Chopper get the juice and I'm the weapon. Call him new era, he capping. Yeah, give the type of niggas I ain't back on. Now put the show, man, my back can't catch him. 21, I'm the sound loud, I'm taxing. Ryan in the coop and it's a sport. Yeah, my bodyguard look like a horse. She gon' set me up like it's a toy. Oh, God. To the left, alright.